नमस्ते साथियों नमस्ते एवरीवन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्लास टेक योर मोमेंट्स वी स्टिल हैव अ मिनट आई जस्ट केम अर्ली ऑन संडे आल्सो वी विल डू अ क्लास 8:30 इट्स अ योगा डे सो विल सेलिब्रेट इट बाय डूइंग सूर्य नमस्कार्स एंड सम अदर एक्टिविटीज share with this many people though so at least for a day those who don't do exercise regularly at least for a day they can move they can do some yoga it's sunday also so i mean though everyone is at home but still we can so weekends so we will enjoy that taking a moment sit down sit on your mat being any comfort position any comfort position is fine and close your eyes deep inhalation and exhalation deep inhalation and exhalation breathe as deep as you can comfortable breathe Maximum inhale, slow exhale. Then join your hands in Namaste. Om together three times. Inhale. your hands come in standing position just being comfortable legs apart and stretch your arms up being comfort just pull up as good as you can upward you good movement and relax feet are down only again arms up inhale stretch breathe 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 and relax Once again, inhale. Stretch as good as you can, pulling up, shoulders movement, and relax. We start with the Surya Namaskar. So stepping on your mat, little bit front. Today's class, the Surya Namaskar will do a rapid one. So nearly 12-13 rounds. Inhale, simple movement to three rounds. Just arms up, soft on your knees. Simple forward bend, left leg behind. Plank. Just go easy. Just moving with the breath, breathing out. And then moving with the breath in. Half cobra. Breathe out. Left leg forward. Inhale. Other leg forward, exhale. Coming up. And namaste. Continue. Four. 
forward bending, right foot behind, other foot behind, and then down, go grind hail, exhale mountain, right foot forward, other foot forward, inhale and coming up, and namaste, continue, Urdhva Hastasana, Padha Hastasana, left leg behind, other foot behind, and down, breathing out, two grind hail, exhale and mountain, left leg forward, other leg forward, inhale coming up, continue, Then more stretch, Urdhva Hastasana, breathe in, Pada Hastasana, breathe out, Right foot behind, inhale, plank, the knees, chest and forehead down, cobra, mountain, right leg forward, other leg forward, inhale and come up, and then stay, continue. Forward bending, left leg, just keep moving, keep moving for a better warm up, knee chest and forehead down, coming up for the cobra, you can bend your elbows if you want to, mountain, left leg forward, other leg forward, hands coming up, namaste. Little more stretch, Uddha Hastasana, a good Padha Hastasana, right foot behind, plank, and down, cobra, mountain, right foot forward, other foot forward, Coming up, and we will stay, so the Hastasana, Padha Hastasana, left leg behind, other foot behind, and down, Cobra, Mountain, left leg forward, other leg forward, and coming up, then we will stay, continue, forward bending, breathing out, right foot behind, inhale, plank, and then down, knee, chest and forehead, cobra, mountain, right foot forward, other foot forward, coming up, we will stay, three more rounds, Urdhva Hastasana, forward bending, left foot behind again, breathe in, plank, and down, knees, chest and forehead, inhale and cobra, mountain, Left leg forward, other leg forward, and coming up. Namaste. Continue Urdhva Hastasana, Padha Hastasana, right foot behind, plank, then down, Cobra. Mountain, right foot forward, other foot forward, and coming up. Namaste. One last round. Urdhva Hastasan. Padha Hastasan. Then left leg behind. 
length, knee, chest and forehead down, cobra, mountain, left leg forward, other leg forward and coming up, bend in the stay, take your time, relax, legs apart, easy inhalation and exhalation, easy breathe, easy inhalation and exhalation and then come in sitting position. Today we will do many um, sitting postures, most of the sitting positions. So after the Surya Namaskar, I just want you to comfortable legs apart, rest your hands, roll back your shoulders and easy breathe. Easier inhalation and exhalation, just feel, focus, observe. Deep inhalation and exhalation. And then open your eyes, release. I want you to sit simple cross leg. If simple cross leg, this could be one position or half lotus ardha padmasan or purna padmasan either one whatever is easy for you to do be, be careful with the knees don't push for the lotus half lotus or even simple cross leg is fine any position is okay remember rest your hands aside we're gonna lift our hip up and then if you can we're gonna lift your feet also up so we're gonna inhale and lift your feet. So if you can go off those who are doing off the floor, those who are going with the lotus, Uttita Padmasana and stay with few breaths. If it is hard with the palms pushing down, make a tight fist and then try. Those who are block, they can use the block, rest them and then lift. Just some more moments to try. And then relax. Normal breathe. Easy inhalation and exhalation. One more time, try the same. Either lotus, even the half lotus. Just try even one foot down but the other whole body up or even the cross leg at least hip up engage your core engage your arms your back just a good engagement of upper body and lifting legs to engage the lower body also so either one position is fine lotus makes it much easier the padmasana makes it easier to lift if Palms facing front is not possible. Open the palms outside and then try. And relax. Inhale deep. Normal inhalation and exhalation. Just take it comfortable. Breathe in, breathe out. Shoulders release. Then open your legs. Today bend your left knee first. Janushirasana simple. Keep your knee pointing side, right leg straight, right knee pushing down, foot pulling back to you. You can use the belt or towel to reach forward, otherwise this much forward bending itself is fine. Inhale, arms up. Slow exhale, pull yourself, lengthen your spine, stretch stretch, stretch and then go down, reach to the foot if you can, forehead resting on your knee. Wherever you reach, I just want you to stay. Whatever position you reach up or complete down, deep inhale, breathe deep and stay in that moment. Feel that moment. Feel the present moment. 
observe, enjoy your present time, feel it, stay, observe. Complete inhale, complete exhale. Few more breath. Stay in the position, whatever position you are in, whether you are here or down, whether you are just resting your hands if you are not able to reach or if, even if you don't have anything, you can just be there. Then inhale and coming up. Arms up, relax your position and left leg forward. Then bend your right knee. Chest pointing front, stretch your arms, inhale, exhale and bend forward. Bending forward with the lengthened spine, not with a too much hunch back. If the hunch is happening, don't try to push forward, just try to straighten up. This is fine. You can rest your hands and straighten up and then just tilt from here. Stretch your hamstring because if you do this, nothing happens here in this position you reach like this. This we don't want. You can bend your knee but pull it forward. Bend your knee if you need to but just be straightening of your spine then pushing your knees down. Keep trying. Breathe deep. Keep trying. Stay in that position. Inhale deep. Exhale slow, stay for some more time. Holding your position, holding makes it perfect. Holding gives you more benefits. Then inhale and coming up. Stretch your arms, relax your hands. Shoulders relax and right leg forward. Normal breathe. Relax your face. Just two, three normal breathe. By chance, if you got attached with any external thoughts, bring your awareness here in present time. Inhale and exhale. Then, open your eyes, bend your left knee, but move your knees slightly more out if you can. We are going to do a side bending. Paribhutta Janu Shirasana, two round half and full. So what we are going to do, grab your left knee with the right hand. Grab your left knee with the right hand, twist, twist and stretch your left arm up. Stretch and then lean down as much as you can and stay there. Arm is up and stretch, that's it. Don't try by bending uh, today in first half. So just stretch open chest, your chest pointing front, it's not that you're dropping, that's why we're holding the knee. Don't lose this grip, stay, do not lose this grip, stay in the position, you can look to the left shoulder from the side and deep inhalations, exhalations, stay. Then coming back very slowly. Relax your arms, we are going to change, then we are going to do it again. Bend your right knee, you can watch me from the back side, open your right knee a little bit more aside. Grab your right knee with your left hand and twist to the back side. Your right hand is on the floor and supporting you for the good twist. Then stretch your arm up, inhale and bend to the side, breathe out and stay. A good stretch in your arm. Right shoulder, oblique, breathe, deep inhalation and exhalation, feel it. Few more breaths, stay. Then coming back. Relax your arms, release your shoulders, right leg forward. Take a deep breath. 
and release. Again moving your left leg. And we're going to twist more. Grab your left knee with the right hand, stretch your left arm up. We're going to go more down. This time your aim is to reach to the foot, to the right foot. Left hand is grabbing the right foot and you try not to lose this grip. And open up as much as you can. As soon as you lose this hand, this might going to happen and the right shoulder will start moving like a Janushirasana. Our aim is to touch your back of the head to the floor. So just do not lose this. Though in final position we open up but try to bring your shoulder before the knee to the floor. It gives you the good movement. Those who are intermediate and advanced, now they will bring their hand to reach to the front and stay. Breathe deep, open up more, open up more if you can. Keep inhalation, exhalation, feel this stretch, the oblique, the shoulder. Try to inhale deep as deep you can. Some more time, stay for a few more breaths. And then bring your left arm up, support, relax, bring your left leg forward. Inhale, then slow exhale. Then move your right leg, move it out. Grab your right knee with the left hand. Stretch your right arm up. Breathe in. A better movement. Breathing out. Reach to the left foot. Stay. Try to open your chest and breathe. If you're fine, then move your left arm forward, breathe. Then coming back with the slowly. Slowly relax, right leg forward, legs apart, rest your hands, roll back your shoulders, open chest and breathe. Deep inhalation and exhalation. Complete inhale, slow exhale. And then bring your feet together. After feet together, bend your knees. Okay. Resting your hands behind, palms facing to you. Now feet wider, almost till the side of the mat. Press your feet, press your hands and lift your hip up. Drop your head if you feel like. If the dropping head doesn't make you feel comfort, lift your head up. Breathe, inhale, exhale, open chest and breathe. Deepen your inhalation and exhalation. A few more breaths stay even if you're tired. I mean tired from the position or maybe the mind is tired. But keep holding. Keep making your mind listen to you. You don't listen to the mind. Now come down very slowly. Relax, legs straight forward and rest your hands again but palms facing back side. Close your eyes for five deep breath. For five deep inhalations and exhalations. Breathe as deep as you can. Complete inhale, slow exhale. Breath has to be complete. Each breath 
should be a complete breath. Fill your lungs each time, maximum when you breathe. Receive more and more oxygen. Then slowly open your eyes, bring your feet together. Easy way of Pranchasana. Bend your left knee. Okay? And keeping your right leg straight, we're not going to bend it first. Interlock your fingers, use the towel or belt, grab your left foot, come up straight, almost like lower leg, parallel to the floor and stay in uh, this position. And then breathing out and you stretch complete. Try not to create any gap between the thigh and abdomen. Maybe you reach here, which is okay. No gap here. No gap between the abdomen and thigh. And those who can, they can stretch, stretch complete. Elbows may can be bent. The right leg is very active. Right knee cap pulled up, right foot flexed in and stay. If you are fine, then you bring your forehead to the left knee. If you reach here, which is fine, just do not hunch. Pull up, even if you grab your calf, works fine. Just foot is flexed in, stretch the calf, stretch your hamstring, back of your knee and stay, even the glutes, the left hip gets a good stretch, maximum stretch one more time, breathe, and then coming back very slowly, lower your left leg, easy breathe, same thing now from the right leg, bend your knee, your thigh and um, your leg is touching your abdomen. Just lock your fingers a simple way. Then breathe in. Breathing out, lift and then stretch by not creating a gap between the abdomen and thigh. Pull up how much you can, stretch how much you can. Whether you reach with a bent knee, it's fine. Just trying is more than enough. Maybe you reach here, it's fine. Otherwise, you grab your ankle, uh, shin or ankle or just behind the knee itself is fine. Roll back your shoulders if you're holding the knee and then just try. Keep trying to pull as good as you can. Maybe you reach here, you can use towel or belt. Keep trying. Forehead coming to the leg or leg reaching to the head. The left leg is very active and straight. Breathe deep, few more breath, and then coming back, relaxing your leg, easy breathe, deep inhalation and exhalation, Now, what we're going to try is bending your left leg into the half virasana, like this way. Those who have a knee discomfort, they will not do this. Any other discomfort, avoid it. They can go back to the knee like a janushirasana. And then we will perform the kronchasana with the right leg stretch off. Choose your position. Then bend your right knee. Grab your left wrist with the right hand. If you're stretching your right leg, Grab your left wrist with the right hand, those who can reach, otherwise just grabbing the foot is fine and then stretch. Stay in a position, slowly, slowly, slowly keep trying to pull and then reach to the final position and once you are in final position breathe as deep as you can. Breathe, deep inhalation and exhalation. more seconds, stay and slowly coming back, 
stretch your right leg forward, then change your leg. Very slowly you open up your left leg, give some time to feel and relax your left knee which was supporting you. Then bend your right leg into the half virasana or resting like a janushirasana. Then bend your left knee. Right wrist with the left hand, those who can, otherwise regular grip is fine. Balance, lift your feet up and then extension of your leg. Once you reach to the extension of your leg, then slowly, slowly, breathing out more, pulling up and then it's stay. Stay in Kronchasana and breathe. Any position is fine even remember, just this is also okay. Grabbing the ankle or calf, this itself is fine. Or heel or foot. Choose your own position in which you can stay. Breathe as deep as you can. Deep inhalation and exhalation. Few more breath. Stay. Try to make your breath, I mean you breathe deep and relaxing. Even though your muscles are stretched, your body is working, your breath should not go hyper. You should not achieve any breathlessness. Your nerves, your breathe should be easy. Your body, muscles, joints, organs, they are working. Slowly coming back. Extend your left leg. Extend your right leg. Feet together. Rest your hands on your knees for a while. Hold back your shoulders. Spine straight. Four, five. Deep breathe. Then Purvottanasana before the Paschimottanasana today. Rest your hands behind, palms facing to you, ankles are extended. Press your heels, roll back your shoulders. Then inhale, press your palms, press your feet, lift your hip up. Extend your toes, knee extension complete, pull your kneecap, engage your glutes and drop your head. Deep inhalation and exhalation and feel this position. Observe and feel it. Observe and feel it. A few more breaths, even if you're tired, keep trying. Contract your glutes. Your hips has to be very active. Your lower back has to be active. Opening your chest, triceps are active. Just try. If dropping the head makes you discomfort, keep your head up. Maximum one time. And slowly relax. Legs apart a little bit. Rest your hands. Relax your wrist. Close your eyes. Do three easy inhalations and exhalations. And then open your eyes. Paschimottanasana now. Feet together, both legs straight. Remember those who have slipped this back pain, they will avoid this position. They can bend their knee and then they can stay until we do something else. Raise your arms up, inhale. Bend on your spine, pull up your chest. Halfway forward and you stay. Breathe, use the towel or belt. Those who are stiff or beginners, they can just reach here. In spite of this, this is important for us. And now those who can, complete down, lower your abdomen. Try there should not be any gap in between the thigh and abdomen. Then chest is leaning down. Your arms are pulling very well. And then dropping your head down. Your biceps, your arms are constantly working to pull. Breathe. Breathe. Deep inhalation and exhalation and stay. Observe your posture. 
those who are advanced now, even if they can reach forward, they can uh, interlock your fingers or they can grab their wrist, wrist to wrist, like either one. Or you grab your toes and start pulling your elbows up, pulling your chest down, forehead down, elbows pointing up, constantly active. Knees are straight, kneecaps are pulled up. That's also important in the end. And more important is deep breathe. More important is don't let your nerves go hyper. You won't let stay. Spiram Chikamasanam. The more you stay in a position, makes it easier. And that makes you more beneficial. Then you call it asana, yoga sun. Then lower your elbows first, chin up, inhale, stretch your arms, relax your hands, lower your shoulders, relax, breathe easy, and slowly come in. Vajrasana, we'll do the camel pose. We will do the camel pose, bend your legs one by one, creating a little gap, hip width apart, and stand on your knees. Hip width apart, stand on your knees, watch me first. Those who are stiff or very beginner, they will just do with the hand support, with the lifted chest, this much is fine. Or we bring the toe in, they rest their hand on the heel. Those are fine and advanced, then the ankles will be flat and you're gonna be on your hands. But don't go back. You have to push your hips forward and chest up. Remember, the glutes has to be active, thighs are strongly active. Let's try together, everyone. Inhale, arms up. Those who are already there, stay there. One by one, your shoulders. Engage your thighs. Your hands are not holding your 100% weight. They are supporting you for the position or assume 50-50 or maybe even less. Your hands are holding just for the support. Your glutes are very active. Your hips are pushing forward. Your chest has expansion. And then head back. Heaven pose. Ustrasana. Breathe. Breathe. more breath, those who are tired come back, stay for some more time if you can, then chin up, one hand up, second hand up, relax your arms, sit down, knees wide and bend forward, your chest coming down in between the knees, the forehead coming down. Rest your lower back, upper back. Mm. Deepen your inhalation and exhalation. Feel your position. Then slowly coming up, inhale, join your knees together, be in a simple Vajrasana, roll back your shoulders, then you're going to do a simple twist, right hand grabbing the left knee, left hand going down behind, roll back your shoulders and twist, look back, deep breathe, deep inhalation and exhalation, deep inhalation and exhalation. Then coming back, inhale, 
Exhale and twist to the right side. Your left hand resting on the right knee, right hand resting behind and twist. Breathe deep, as deep you can. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your face. And then coming back very slowly. Those who can, we'll try Sukta Vajrasana. So either you move forward or just being there, um, three positions, we have three, four postures, go easily, first is just resting your hands, you can choose to stay wherever you feel comfort, don't push forward a lot, I mean uh, forward in the sense, to moving for, in asana, then you can rest your elbows, you can stay here, This is, remember each position is complete, whatever position you can reach for today is complete posture for you for today. Then you can shift your elbows towards the feet and try to drop your head. Those who are fine will rest their shoulders. And arms can be up over your head and stretched. Sukta Vajrasana, your heels are under your buttocks, under your hips. You are not doing Sukta Virasana. Those who are not comfortable with the lower back. They will come back, please don't push, no over extension of back. Those who have a lordosis, though this is good, the stretching on hip flexors are always good. Stretching the thigh, hip flexors, opening your chest, creating more space for your diaphragm to move. These are always good, but take care, slowly, slowly, every day, it's not that one day job. Nothing can be achieved in one day. We need a discipline, we need a practice, we need a regularity. Those who are fine, if they want to advance a little bit more, they bring their hands under the shoulders like a wheel, press your hands, lift your hip up, lift, then bring your head down closer to the feet and then bring your hands to grab your feet if you can. So any position is fine, those who are advanced they can try, don't push please if you are not comfortable. And get your thighs also here. Glutes engagement, hip engagement means tightening and active. Then you can come back, come lift your head up, down. Bring your hands under the shin, push your elbows to lift your chest, shift your elbows behind. Then resting your hands. Knees together and child pose. Knees together and bend forward your hands towards your feet. Forehead down and just rest. Inhale and breathe. Deep inhalation and exhalation. Breathe deep. One more time. Then inhale and coming up. Easy breathe. I just want you to go for pigeon pose. Rest your hands forward. Come up on your knees, shift your feet behind, go into the mountain, mountain. Um, maybe downward dog one time, feet apart, inhale chin up and lower your chest down how much you can. Stretching your hamstrings, opening your chest, pushing down as down you can, bringing your forehead down if you can reach. Breathe deep, you have a good open chest, you have good expanded chest so diaphragm can move more freely.
then coming up, moving your right leg towards your left hand and slowly sit. You can reshift if you want to, if you're flexible, if you're advanced, make it almost 90 degree and then you try to turn. That could be very hard. So you can bring your foot closer to the left hip and then you can make it like a cobra with the hand support. So either one is fine, choose whatever position you feel, maybe in between, a little bit if you want to. And then resting your left hand on the left, uh, on the right foot, right hand on your left knee, push back like a chair, uh, chest expansion and cobra. Then stay here, breathe deep, deepen your inhalation and exhalation. Feel this hip flexor, don't lean on the right hip much. Your left thigh should touch the floor in order to perform a good position. It's a close hip moment. You're stretching the glutes, you're opening the hip as such as a flexibility. But the left hip pelvis should be pointing down. Left pelvis should not be out. Then those who can, they will complete it by bending one by one positions. Bend your left knee, grab your left ankle and then you can stay. Remember, each position is complete for us. Those who can, they pull it more, bend their elbow. Those who can, they hug, the, hug their foot and then right arm comes, grabbing their hands, looking to the front. Or those who can complete it, they grab the toe, big toe, rotate their arms and shoulders, reach both her hands to reach the foot and then your head is reaching. Your head is reaching to the foot. Keep trying to stay with that. You can use the belt. You're coming back very slowly. Relax. Relax. Both hands forward. And just lean forward one time. Stretch your arms forward, relax your lower back, relax your sacrum, relax your hip. Bringing your hands under the shoulders again, coming up, bring your left big toe in, start tucking in, engage to lift for uh, again for downward dog or mountain. Inhale, lift your hip up, bring your right foot behind, again maybe let's part or feet together though I prefer in between when you're changing, feet together and do the mountain, a very good glutes and hip stretch, hamstring stretch, opening your chest and breathe. Then we will change. Left leg comes forward towards your right hand. Then left hip is down. Pushing your hip. Your foot can be more almost in 90 degree if you can. Otherwise bring it behind. Rotate and turn your right hip pointing down. Both hands active. Your left hand on your left knee. Your right hand on your left foot. Just try and deep breathe. Stay in a position. Deep inhalation and exhalation. Choose how much you can do. Breathe. Breathe. Complete inhale, complete exhale. And then very slowly, you bend your right knee. You can grab it, grab your right foot with the right hand and stay. If you can, then you just hug your right foot with the right hand. Both hands can be grabbed. Move one by one, feel it whether you can go further or not. Your breath should not be hyper, so keep breathing. Those who are advanced, they will grab their foot. Rotate their shoulder from in to out. 
and then left hand will also catch the foot. Lift your chest, breathe and with the exhalation you achieve the completeness of the posture. Very slowly, relax your legs, bend forward, relax your lower back, your sacrum, your hip, and normal breathe. Coming back, bringing your hands with the hand support, going up, just a few, a few more postures for today, because you'll be in mountain again, knees down, child pose, hands down towards your feet, forehead resting, so relax your lower back by chance if you have uh, generated any stress for that. Surrender your shoulders, easy breathe. Then inhale and coming up. Two, three advanced positions. Do how much you can, uh, how much easily you can. No need to push. I just want to you to grab any pillow, cushion, or yoga belt or towel, which could be slight. We are going for Hanuman Asana. The first thing what you do is fold your mat towards your trying So when you rest your knee, it should be on the comfort zone. And then grab any cushion or pillow. Slide, this makes the sliding movement easier. Choose a block if you have to. Then resting your one leg forward. You are like on this position, stretching your hamstring first. Just see how much you can feel it, how much the stretch is there. If you feel comfort, and then you keep sliding, keep sliding, keep sliding. You can keep your weight, body weight on your hands and stay. Keep your body weight on your hands and stay. And then stretch, stretch, stretch. How much you can reach? Choices. I mean, you can keep it up. Don't worry that you have to achieve in one day, but day by day practice makes you perfect and then you can stretch, stretch, stretch and achieve it. Those who are fine and complete will stretch their arms up. So choose your position, whatever position you can. Whatever position you can, staying in the position, taking a body weight um, with your hand support or taking a block, putting a block in between the front hip. That also can makes it uh, makes the possibility of staying a little bit easier. Stay some more time if you can. Then slowly slide back. Coming back. Choose to stay more if you want to, if you have a time, because day by day more you stay longer in any one position gives you the perfection. You're going to choose opposite leg. Then you step, right foot flexed, lean forward, maybe stretch just to see how much you feel comfortable. If the hamstrings allows you to go, if your hamstring allows you to go, then you go. If your glutes are asking you to stay back, stay. Don't push a lot. Sometimes injuries happen in Hanumanasana. So stretch how much you can, slowly, slowly. Give time to stretch. Give time to reach to that position. Give time to reach to that position. Those who are fine and advanced will complete their arms up. Deep inhalation and exhalation and holding that position with normal breath or holding the position with the arm support. Either one is fine. 
Leave a little bit up with the block support. The day by day you achieve the position. Some more time, some more time. Choose any of the posture, complete or half. And then coming back. Sit in Vajrasana for a while, just to relax your hips, your glutes, normal breathe. Easy inhalation and exhalation. Then open your eyes, we'll continue the hamstring stretch because we have done a very good hamstring stretch series. So this could be the very good achievement of some position. We're doing Kurmasana, the turtle pose. For that, again, if you want, you can take two pillows to slide. Or you sit. Suppose you're sitting on a mat. Bend your knees. Choose how much you can. Lower your hands. The beginner's palms facing up. And just stay. Try to stretch their legs. How much you can. Use your legs engagement to go completely down. And then stay in that posture. Breathe as deep as you can. Slow and deep breathings. Those who are advanced, what they will try is palms facing down, which is a complete position. Palms facing down. They are closer to the body. And then you push and then try to lift your hip uh, slightly up. Or keep it down, but active legs. Turtle. Purmasana. You can rest your chin aside if you are um, flexible and comfortable. Then slowly pull back. Pulling back is very hard. So bend your knees, pull your and slide back your heels. Then you come out. Easy inhale, easy exhale. Do you need a counter? So I'm just choosing one more sitting. Again, a camel as a counter. Go. Cobra could be the best. Bhujangasana could be, could be the best. So let's, we can try both. Give your hand support. Push your pelvis forward. Pull your chest up. Be with the hand support. As a counter, just take it easy. Then coming up. Easy breathe. Be in a position. Just be on your, on your toes. Cobra will do later after the next position. Next one is more hard. I mean not hard. Advanced. So choose to do or not to do. And then we'll do the shoulder stand Sarvangasana series and then we'll finish up the session today with some one more twist basically. So Bhujpridasana and Tidibhasana, how much you can choose wisely, be careful with the wrist. Those who are intermediate and advanced, they will try otherwise uh, other people can just rest. So what we're going to do is, you're coming up in standing position. You're going to move your knees slightly wide. You're going to be, move your knees slightly wide. Bringing your shoulders under the knees. Resting your hands aside. And slowly you're shifting your body weight on your hands. Slowly you're shifting your body weight on your hands. Lifting your feet. Maybe crossing the toes. And this could be the position. You can choose to stay here. Or then those who can, they go for Chiddibhasana. And then they'll stretch. There are two positions. Hip drop or lifting hip. So just be there, easier breathe and stay. Easy inhalation and exhalation. Those who are not possible uh, to do Tidibhasana can cross their feet and stay. Then slowly rest your feet or rest your hip. Coming back. Relax and lay down on abdomen. Lie down on abdomen, makarasana. Toes outside, heels inside, resting your hands on each other, forehead resting on your hands. Give a complete minute to relax, rest, 
and observe Then slowly bring your feet together, a simple cobra. Bring your hands in line with your head and ears, slightly aside till corners of the mat. Inhale, chin up. We do the simple one. Then exhale and push up and stay. Squeeze your hips, your glutes to be uh, tightened up. Your heels coming to each other. Your toes are together. So legs are very active. Open your chest and breathe. Though it looks simple posture, but it's very effective. Maybe close your eyes, deep inhalation and exhalation. A few more breaths, stay in posture. Don't loosen up your shoulders like this. Pull back, roll, chest expansion. your elbows. Turn around on your spine. We will do Sarvangasana series. But before that we will do a simple twist. What I want you to do, hug your knees to the chest one time. Hugging your knees to the chest one time. Stay for a few breaths. Relaxing your hands into the side in line with the shoulders. Both legs straight up. Inhale. Drop your both the legs towards your right side. Drop your both the legs to the right side. Grab your feet maybe with the hands and chin to the left side. Stay there for five deep breaths. Inhale deep, lift your both legs up together and then drop them down to the left side. Chin moving to the right side, then deep breathe again. Then inhale and coming back, slowly lower your legs down. Prepare yourself for uh, upside down, prepare for Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand, hands down close to the body, hands down close to the body and stay. Slowly you lift your legs up and stay like till you can see your toes, stay in Uttanvarasana with the both the legs. If someone feels very hard to do, they can lift their legs up to the 90 degree like this anytime. But just stay for some more time. Hold. Hold. Then 
then 90 degree and stay. Breathe deep. Comfortable inhalation, exhalation. And then we go for Halasana first. Today, first the plug position. And stay, reach to the plug position. Interlock your fingers, stretch your hands down or use towel and stay. Breathe. Keep your hands down and active, open chest. Kind of achievement of that. That will, if you're too much round is happening, then it might be harder. You have to pull back your hip. Extend your hamstrings and legs, knees, almost straightening of your spine, lower back at least. Today, Sarvangasana without hand support. Hands gonna be down only, then one leg and second leg, both legs up. Readjust if you want to, or even with the hand support one time, you readjust, but then bring your hands down again. Keep breathing, trying to stay. Now give your hand support. Make it a little bit comfortable and still continue stay. Deep inhalation and exhalation. Just breathe. Inhale, exhale. for some more postures, breathe easy, like some more time in this position, some more time, let the blood come down complete to the heart, let the venous return supports, the lymphatic system gets support, the lymph nodes, the lymph comes down for purification, blood come down for purification. If you're fine, remember to come down whenever you want. And then slowly roll back. I mean, bringing your leg back down towards the head like a halasana. Hands down and start dropping your knees for the turn of Vidasana, knees to the floor. Try to breathe deep, as deep you can be in here, which is hard to breathe sometimes, but if you feel your flexibility is enough, very well, then you can try. If it is too hard, please come back. Then straightening of your knees, opening your hands. Vertebrae to vertebrae, slowly you come down. Don't lift your head. Do not lift your head while coming back. Head down, hip. Remain down and then hip down first. Let your half flex circulation now you can start lowering your legs down. Slowly, slowly, slowly lower your leg. And relax complete. 
just let go two more positions for today first is a fish matsyasana those who are doing with the lotus they will do with the lotus otherwise like straight bring your hands under the hip push your elbows lift your chest and then bend your neck try to touch top of your head on the floor constantly active and contracting your upper back muscles the back and neck the elbows are constantly helping your chest to be expand knee cap pulled up leg straight thighs active breathe those who are doing with the lotus they do it with the lotus and then grab their feet and pull those who wants to see with the lotus they can watch me and then do padmasana with the elbow support you lift your chest or with the hand support towards the head you lift your chest then come bringing your hands to the feet pull them and elbows reaching to the floor constantly you're pushing with them normal breathe Both slowly come down. Those who are doing with the lotus, they can hug their knees to the chest with lotus, or those who are doing without, they will hug their knees to the chest as a panasana, pavan muktasana with the both the legs. The last posture for today: both legs straight down. Then bend your right leg, right foot on the left thigh, and then you twist. Moving and chin looking to the right side. Opposite leg, and then breathe out. Turning to the left, your chin is going down to the right side. Breathe, push your head from down, expand your belly while twisting. That gives you the very good relief and relieve the any stress of the spine and belly. Come back. Stretch your arms as good as you can. Sukta Tarasana and Shavasana. Lower your hands and release. Close your eyes. Complete inhalation and exhalation. Complete inhalation and exhalation. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Enjoying your time, enjoying your breath, enjoying your moments. Feel relaxed, feel complete. From toe to head, your whole body is fully relaxed. From toe to head, your whole body is fully relaxed.
through everything, your stress, your worry, your tiredness. Just release complete all the fears, all the worries. Let them surrender. Surrender to the universe, surrender to the Mother Earth. Enjoy your present time, your body, your mind, completely relaxed. Especially your shoulders, especially your neck. Take your whole awareness, especially in those areas which gives you the regular tiredness or demands more attention. This is the time to heal them. joints, all the muscles and organs that are fully relaxed. Enjoying this Shavasana, enjoying these moments. Not a physical effort, but just start paying attention on the touch of your inhalation, the fresh breathings and positive energy, and feel light with each breath. Feel light and easy with each breath. Start inhaling deep with the effort, stay long for Shavasana if you want. Otherwise, slowly, slowly start moving your fingers and toes, moving your, slowly moving your arm. Move the way you feel like moving, any kind of stretching, when interesting, which means you feel alive, fresh and active. And then turn to the side. Keeping your eyes closed, coming up and sitting. Choose any, any comfortable position to sit. Being in attitude of gratitude, paying regards and thanks to your God for giving you comfort time, present time, healthy and happy moments. Pray for everyone's health and happiness, and family, friends' health and happiness. Pray for peace and health. Under your hands. Rest them in your eyes. Giving a loving touch, loving support to the whole body. By loving your whole body, lower your hands down. And then open your eyes with a smile on your face. Thank you for today's class. Hope you enjoyed it. It was focused on hamstring. To achieve the Hanumanasana and Purmasana, if you want to. Otherwise, it's a anyway, full workout. Have a good day. Remember, Yoga Day 8.30. Sunday, 21st June, 8.30. I'll be live again. Join me.
for some practices, ask the people, those who don't do yoga especially, at least to start with, begin with, and I'll be happy to teach that day. Take care.